God, I'm glad I was too old for Pogs. I loved Pogs. I loved Pogs. Yeah. Because you're a baby. I, it'd be no, because I was like a theater geek, and when you're doing a play, you have a, a lot of time to kill. And like we would be sitting in the back, uh, you know, backstage going, what are we going to do with our free time? Because we don't, none of us have phones or the internet yet. Yeah. So what should we do? It's like, you know what? We should get those stupid pogs that everybody's playing with. It's like, oh, those are stupid. Yes, we should definitely do that. <laughs> and so we would get like a crap ton of pogs, especially. And at first we were doing it ironically, but then we discovered that the, like, the Circle K by the high school yeah. sold nothing but remarkably violent anti-abortion pogs. Oh, my God. <laughs> For whatever reason... The Circle K would sell these pogs that had like dead babies on them and like abortion is murder. And, and so so that just made us love it more. And then, of course, because my brother won't let me have anything. Yeah. My brother went on vacation to Vegas and at it's somewhere on the strip. I'm thinking Caesar's Palace, but I might be wrong about that. He bought a thirty nine ninety five dollar uh, pog slammer. That's the the heavy thing that you use to slam the pogs. Yeah. He spent like forty dollars on one with a cobra on it and it was shiny. He had to buy the most expensive pog thing, basically. Uh, yeah, I, I I am tempted. To I'm tempted to ask what's wrong with him, but we covered that. Yeah, no, we totally covered that. But then of course, Joe being Joe, after about six months he didn't care about it so that quickly became my slammer so i really was the king of pogs all right so I had this, like pog slammer that was that weighed as much as eleanor 